everybody, welcome back to another episode of Frostborn. Today we return, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the brand new update that we are checking out today. That is right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, there is a new one, and the main addition that this bad boy has brought is the addition of something that I like quite a little bit. The small stash storage with access available only to you. This bad boy is raid proof. And today we're gonna be crafting up a couple of these bad boys and we can put these anywhere since, well, I don't know exactly about anywhere, but we don't need to put these behind like protective walls and stuff because they are gonna be a bit more uh, safer to, I mean, us versus raiders than these normal chests. Speaking of which, do I have any more planks by chance? Because I would like to get maybe a third stash well first things first how many of these can we even put down so let's get to building what is the limit so apparently we can oh, only one wow so we just crafted two for absolutely no reason good to know good to know i guess that other one will be a collectible but you are allowed one building a stash and this stash is going to be a very small stash but it's kind of going to function as a safe does in the last day on earth and give you some basic not basic some basic protections as you guys can see we have also tried to up the protection around our base we don't have more stone walls yet unfortunately we are going to continue working towards those but we get five slots of safety so that is where we can put away five valuables i'll probably try to transfer some things over there from uh, what you call our other chest but for now those chests over there do seem pretty safe but as we continue getting valuable things like the offering to Odin, which has been stolen from us, we'll definitely make sure to put those uber valuables into there because uh, we actually need to get ourselves another offering to Odin to be able to make our way into Odin's den. And this time around, we are coming very prepared for the shenanigans that that will entail. So let's go ahead and put away a couple of these extra things. And we need to go over to a level two zone to do exactly that. And also, as you guys can see from our inventory, we have splooged just a little bit on uh, the coinage over here and dropped a fair, fair amount of our wallet to make this come to fruition. We also have gotten ourselves a bit of an XP booster in addition to that. And now the question is, what do we use this coinage on? And to be completely honest, I don't know. And I was kind of wanted to ask you guys exactly how you guys would like to see us put this coinage to use anything specific. You guys do want to see us cop anything like that. Like, I'd love to potentially get the metal room, but dude, it's just so expensive and we could get so many other things for that. And TBH, stone walls are like, do in my opinion, they do a pretty good job so far at protecting stuff since Frostborn is so early on in its life cycle. You know, even to be able to get the proper materials to break into this, it's it's still not the easiest thing to do in the world. So I'm a little bit conflicted around that, but I'd love to hear from you guys in that comment section down below regarding where you would maybe like to see those coins allocated towards anything specific you guys would like to see. Maybe like the, how, how good the chances are of us maybe getting some of these potential packs over here, for example, maybe getting some of these extremely rare things and potentially being able to show off some of the best weapons in the game in limited scenarios, potentially getting some armor for deep runs and seeing just how deep the Odin's place goes and hopefully being able to armor up and go against this giant with 5,000 health that me and Cyrek happen to stumble across. So uh, quite a few interesting things, but for now over to the stone. Do we want to go to the stone area? Actually, yeah, because maybe we'll be able to get some iron there as well. I am down to grab a little bit of iron. I do need a little bit of iron for, well, processing more iron. And also we can use raw iron in the creation of the woodworking table, for example, which I do want to get a second one of, another smelter, a couple of things like that. I do want to get this crow's perch as well. And actually going into this dungeon will be really good for that because it gives us a chance at getting those crows in cages. And when it comes to the engineer's table, I think we can find more pliers down there. With the copper ingots, I'm not 100% sure. Ooh, a staff. We might actually be able to craft one of these once we get some more leather strips because we had a lot of these materials, but they were stolen when our base was raided. So that is why we have been trying to be a lot more protective of our base and make sure that uh, the proper defensive measures are laid out. And ooh, we have what could be as long as these enemies aren't super tall. Baby, that's a giant over there. Never mind. Not trying to fight a giant above ground. If there's one below ground, so be it. But above ground, eh might be a bit of a hard pass for me. Mr. Wolfie, you will go bye-bye, big boy. Ah, uh, man, I wish there was like a healer in this game. Yo, Kafir, if you guys are watching this, I'd love to, but I'm just saying, it'd be pretty cool if there was a healer in the game that maybe gave us uh, similar benefits and boosts towards, uh, okay, let's get the Draugr over here, just jabate him over, but if there was a similar one where we could potentially get like, for example, that 20% melee boost, dude, that would be killer. 
Now, all right, let's bait this guy over here, the weak Draugr. Actually, he didn't even notice us. I'll take it, dude. I'll happily grab whatever we can out of this chest. It is above ground, but so be it, man. If it's easy access to us, I'm getting grabby. Oh, no, no, no. I'm getting runny. Hello, buddy. Okay, I think me and him have a pretty good understanding that we're both, uh, we both chilling. Yeah, okay, we're, he's just collecting some stone. I'm doing my own thing. Hey, buddy. I'm not, I right, listen, listen, we're cool, right? We're cool. I got a lot of meat. You don't want to trifle with me? Oh, baby, a second one. All right, don't mind me. Hello, John. John, John, you don't want to do that, buddy. You don't want to do that. Listen, I am ready to swap towards something heftier. All right, let's start eating up the food. All right, he left me alone. He left me alone. I might run away from this zone and run back into another one. It looks like this one's a little bit active. And the problem is I saw another person already pop into here, which does worry me. So maybe I'll run over to the level two zone as well. See, if it was me and Cyrek, for example, Cyrek's not on at the moment. I wish he was, man. That'd be so helpful. But, uh... For now, we'll run over to the level 2 forest. Hopefully, we'll be able to knock that out. Sanctum of Tur. Yeah, we need a battle card. I don't know if that's going to be happening anytime super soon. But yeah, we do return in Frostborn. Sorry for the delay. In between episodes, just been some odd timing because we did have a quick trip to LA for super secret reasons that you guys will be seeing uh, shortly. Shortly-ish, sometime like that. And uh, there's another trip we do have coming up as well. But no worries, Frostborn is not over just because we haven't posted it for like a day or two. It is it's still continuing. No need to stress. And hokey dog. Mr. Wolfie, I will stab you and then hopefully make my way over to your buddy over there And we gotta try and find this entrance into those lower sections and also continue looting you guys up Because again, those lower sections are where we're ultimately going to be finding Exactly what we need the offering to Odin and there's some pretty tough enemies We got to go up against as well, but I mean I like our odds uh, is this a giant? No, just a couple of Draugrs, so we should be able to take these dudes on. Let's make sure that we're healing up a little bit with the help of wonderful food. God, do I love food. Get a little bit of rope off of that guy. Oh, I just saw what looked like potentially a player spawning in, because like I saw, oh, that's a shaman. A little bit spooky over there, but yeah, dude, these zones are so much more active, and they're getting so much harder to do solo and solo. And oh, I already see that guy over there. All right, well, don't mind me. I'm just gonna make my way over hither. He's trying to hunt me down already, a freaking douche canoe. So uh, what I'm gonna do is potentially put on my most powerful of weapons, yeah? Hopefully I can get him. Nice, he's gotta deal with that guy over there. What? There you go. Well, I think he's being attacked by that guy. Dude, look at that. He's literally chasing me down. There we go. All right, now he's, he's, he's just aggroing more dudes. I don't know what he's up to. We got a hot swap. We're a little bit faster than this guy, which means I think we have better boots than he does. We're gonna hot swap over to our thingy mabob over there. Hey, buddy. What are you doing, man? What are you? Hello? Come on, dude. Oh my God, he's a troll. He's getting all these people. Oh my God, I just got jabated. He freaking summoned a bowman. Well, hey, I'll let him deal with all that stuff over there. Wow. Well, that's an interesting new tactic. Dude, this PvP that we're encountering is definitely a lot more interesting because uh, this guy's starting to come up with some interesting strats. He's like making it look like he's weak. Then he freaking like summons someone to do his bidding. Hello. Oh, I see another person over there. Come on, aggro the shaman. Shaman, shaman, I don't know. That was definitely not the same person. No way he had enough time to run over there. Dude! Why are these zones become so much more brutal? Like, I wish, as a solo player, there's a way to run over here and, like, only come across other solos. Because I feel like we can encounter people in groups, and as a solo player, that might be a little bit OP. So maybe that's another thing Kafir could take into account as they do continue developing this, because, god dang it, Bobby! There is a lot of people up in here. All right, now, like I'm saying, we do have a lot of energy, so hopefully the stone cliffs have respawned into a version without a billion people because a billion people might just be a little bit too hard for us to be able to do anything good with. But, I mean, maybe not do anything good with, but it's definitely very risky, very spooky, very scary. Sanctum of Odin archives first. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Dude, I wish we didn't have that freaking offering to Odin stolen already, man. That was... The poopiest part. Event! Oh, the Cursed Town event. Maybe we'll head over there and try to make our way into some PvP or something like that. But all right, back into here we go. And honestly, just for the sake of maybe scaring people off and having a bit more armor, I'm, I'm just going to equip this because we've been running across a little too many players. I don't like. Hello, buddy. Okay, is this the same one? I think this is actually the exact same zone because, yeah, that's empty from before. Oh, my God, there's two of them. God dang it, Bobby. God dang it, Bobby. Are those of the same? Oh, no, we aggro the giant. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna try to skedaddle out of here. I'm not, I don't want to deal with him. 
No, 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 no. I thought that was a normal person. I'm so used to- Oh my god, there's more people there. All right, well, if you could please leave here a little bit sooner. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's get the giant between me and those guys. God dang it! How many people are around these parts? Oh, thank you! They stole the giant from me. I appreciate that, dudes. I don't know if they did that on purpose or if they were trying to make their way over to me, but holy guacamole! These zones have gotten infinitely more dangerous than they used to be before. Like, I... Uh, this, this is this is a spooky existence as a solo player right now. We might really need to wait till Cyrus can hop on because like, I like there's I'm just coming across groups of two. I'm sorry, I do not believe in my chances of defeating a group of two. So I suppose we'll run back on over there to the forest and see what that's all about. But at least we didn't get to show off the new stash today, and uh, I'm a little bit bummed that there's only one. Probably should have put the first one down before we crafted the second one. Learned that a little bit the hard way. And uh, I wish that they maybe would add another yellow zone that has like a low encounter chance. Kind of like the green zone has over here. If you guys can establish that or look at that. Yeah, check it out. Like this one, the nearby ones both have high chances. But if you use a little bit more energy and run to the further away ones, there is a low player encounter chance. It used to be none, but now there's just a low one. So I don't know if they did something like that or maybe change this to medium. I feel like that'd be pretty cool because then red could be high, yellow could be medium, something like that. Because like the high player encounter chance here... <clears throat> It does lead to some OP existence, to say the least. It, this might be the same zone we were in before. Now, we are... I saw a player over there, dude. Um, we might be able to... He has no idea I exist here. Oh, my goodness gracious. Bruh. Bruh. There's a lot of people. Oh, my. Dude, someone's being chased. Did we try to engage? I think we tried to engage... In, oh, dead guy. Hello, dead guy. Don't mind if I loot you. Maybe I could, like, scavenge something. All right, some wood. I'll take that over nothing. I'm, I'm trying to make my way over to another bush. I just want to continue being sneaky-deaky. Dude, if I, if I just go back to chilling here, maybe it'll, like, double back. If we could somehow get the jump on some people, man, maybe with the bow? There could be some, uh, good existence here. Because I have a lot of meat. I'm definitely not trying to die. That's quite a little bit of meat to lose. But maybe... I don't want to, like, move around the grass either. Because then people, they can actually see the movement in the grass. That is something that you do need to watch out for. I'm going to try to like slowly but surely move over this way. God dang it, man. People are so aggressive in this game. It's totally different gameplay compared to the other mobile survival games. Um, all right, I've been waiting for a little bit in this bush. I haven't seen him do anything. I don't know if, oh, there you go. The giant loop-de-loop. -loop. The giant loop-de-loop. -loop. He has a lot of enemies coming after him. And he's continuing to run. Just because there's a single Draugr, is that really it? Did this man successfully evade his enemies? I think so. I think he juked whoever he was trying to lose. If he comes into this bush, I might need to kill him. I'm just saying. A lion in wait. Like a lion stuck in its prey. Look at that. Ah, he's like pretty much naked though. Find the bow, maybe. Oh, now he's like running over that way. I think he's just trying to leave the map. Yep. Alright, well, if he's dipped, I suppose I'll go back to exploring the map a little bit. Although, he was running from something, and that has me scared. So, I'm gonna try and locate another bush on the ASAP and take capitalization of that. Uh, maybe try to take out this enemy over here. Oh, there's the tomb. That's a giant. Not trying to take out that enemy anymore. Alright. Moment of truth here. Can we handle what the tomb has? And hopefully no one's down in here. And here's the thing. I got a feeling that maybe those two people that we encountered are down in here. Oh, baby. Well, something happened. Oh, mama. Uh, oh yeah, I see him up there. All right, well, did we just YOLO it? I saw at least one person, man. I'm a little bit spooked by that. I wish there was some way to freaking hide in here. But uh, that does not appear to be the case. I see, yeah, there's two people. Nope. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. How long does it take to escape? I'm not taking my chances with that. Maybe I could hide in a bush outside and jump them when they leave. Oh, ho, ho. Ah, there's no bushes nearby. Dang it. If I go over to this bush, they beat me to it, though, and they're doing co-op. And unfortunately, I'm forever alone at the moment. Not forever, just temporarily. So, uh, no bueno. And after waiting for this opportunity to hopefully appear, Beard. I have not seen any movement out of- Oh. Someone sent a crow. 
Interesting. There might be someone else. Potentially about to find out about that tomb. Probably gonna make their way into that tomb. Hello, someone running in through here. Yo, yeet! Let's freeze them up. Let's get them. Get back here, dark. Oh, bring that booty here, boy. Bring it here. Your time to die hath to come in, brother. Oh, he's down. Oh, that's not good. CJ, what is he doing, bro? What is he doing, bro? Let me just yeet. Okay, I only got one dragger on me. The rest of these guys are still going after him. He's still crawling around. Buddy boy, I don't know what you're trying to do, man. But, uh, hey, it ain't working. Let me just, uh, hey, buddy. See ya, buddy. There we go. Oh! They're just gonna brutally try and kill his friend there. As long as I don't get this giant on me, I'm fine with that. I got plenty of food. I will survive! Is he trying to make his way down there? What exactly are you doing, my dude? Woo! Was not expecting this spell to happen. Holy guacamole! Let's make sure that we're eating over here because those are some heavy-hitting enemies. God dang it, Bobby. All right, all right, let's continue running around a little bit here. Oh my god. This is the one thing that I hate as a strategy though. Just running around and kiting people until they eventually appear because that guy might be able to like heal up his buddy by now, which is kind of what I'm worried about. He was, I think he still had some enemies on him though, so we should be okay. I'm gonna double back though. And hopefully he has not managed to do that. Hopefully his buddy's dead by now. Um, I'm not seeing either of them. I am seeing a conga line of enemies coming my way though, unfortunately. So let me just, yeah, yeet. Oh no, big hit, big hit, big hit. I'm burning, I'm on fire, I'm on fire. No, 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 no. Let's continue healing. Let's definitely not get that giant on us. And I don't see a dead body either. Did he heal and get out of there? Did they go into the cavern? I don't know. Was that the two dudes from the cavern actually? Oh, oh my God. That fire keeps on throwing me off, dog. I don't know. But that's the one strategy that it appears is pretty prevalent. If you see an enemy coming your way, you don't have a lot of armor. You just kite someone and try to get him to... Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Don't set me on fire. I'm on fire again. 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 Ow! That sorcerer is a douche canoe. May I just tell you? Let's continue healing up over here. Apparently, I got to take your time when you eat these. And let the effect fully die down. Let's make sure that we do not aggro that giant on us. And continue running around. We might try to make our way down into those caverns, but... I'm not see like, I didn't see a dead body for that one guy, which is the one thing that's like, got me a bit skeptical. I think he may have survived. He may have been revived. I should have tried to kill him while he was down. I had mercy. Mistake number one of Frostborn. Never have mercy. But again, they were a co-op duo. Like, dude, I, I think that was the same duo. I'm gonna be completely honest. All right, though. We got a little bit more heals. Let's try to take out the sorcerer. So be it if we get set on fire. I want this to be over. Sorcerer down. Let's take out the weak dragger. Hello, I did not mean to click on inventory. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. We still got a weak dragger on us. And uh, that's not good. That's not good. That's not good. That's not good. Let me hop into my inventory here after we get a little bit of separation. Eat up that really quickly. And all right, now we should be good to go. But yeah, I have a feeling they made their way down there. There's no way they would have escaped with their lives already. Let's make sure that we heal up before we go down there. And uh, prepare for a brawl. It's like I'm saying, no skull out here. Very suspicious. The fact they went straight for this tomb and kind of knew where it was too with that crow that they sent out. Also a little bit suspicious. I think they're trying to recover their bodies from something that went down. So if my hunch is right, we might get mugged as we enter here. I am not looking forward to this. Okay, we haven't been mugged. Are they down here? How deep does this rabbit hole go? This dungeon's definitely, definitely, definitely a bit different of a layout, and I never saw anyone exit it, which is why I'm extra suspicious. But I mean, it's been totally cleared out. Every enemy's been killed. Have they looted everything, though? I don't know. Oh, I see one guy. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. He's running away. This is also a very big dungeon, may I add. Oh, get back here, boys. Get back here, boys. Yeet! Nice! Managed to get that guy. Oh, what? Come on, I hit him with the slow-mo. You're telling me he survived that? Well, if they do get back into here, it's gonna have to be through a different area. Man, that's ex it was, it was those two. Ah, God dang it. And yeah, I think they just, they came back and like looted everything. I think they died down here because I never saw them exit. And they came back. Ambush failed. Maybe they'll try to get a bit risque. Ooh, a shirt. I'll take that. Listen, I'll pick up their scraps, man. I'm not against that. I'll do what I can. Here, cast my armor spell too. Hopefully, do a number on them if they decide to try and attack me again. Another chain, like hey, it's something, man. I'm down to pick up their scraps. Might as well, man. I've been waiting in ambush for a hot minute. I want to get something out of it, you know. But yeah, I think they're scared of me too. Like they're not coming back down here either. Well, whoa! I've done a successful job 
The first solo player to scare two people away. Well, call me the boogeyman, because everyone's scared of me. Unless they're just waiting outside, which is another thing that they might be doing that I've actually now kind of just started to realize. Hopefully not. I will take my time inside of here. Maybe chill by this a little bit. Maybe they'll come back down, get a little bit impatient, and I could uh, take them out when that happens. Because, yeah, they've collected everything out here, man. Ah, almost had it. If we came down here a little bit faster, I think we would have been golden. All right, I've been waiting down here for a fair amount of time. I, I, like, I, I'm, I'm scared that they're going to be setting an ambush outside. Uh, like, if, if they haven't come down by now, I feel like they would have gotten impatient by now. Maybe they think I'm onto them. Dude, that's the thing, though. With this being a true multiplayer game, there is that meta that you need to be aware of. And you kind of got to think, okay, how is the enemy thinking? That's like a whole new dimension that's been thrown into the midst of things. This does 36 damage. I honestly, that pretty much doubles our damage output. The other thing only gives us three extra armor. Uh, I'll take that trade. Anything to have a little bit more power at our disposal. And all right. Let's hope for the best. Let's hope that things don't get fugly up there because uh, I got a feeling that they might be lying in ambush. Uh, oh, baby. Yup. Called it. Oh, my God. These people are the worst. Literally the worst. Oh, my God. You guys suck. That's just... That's... Uh, that's just poopy, man. Literally. That's just dumb. So, I don't know. I mean, I guess well played to them, but I, they didn't even, like, want to battle me one-on-one. -on -one. <laughs> like, I knew that's exactly what they were doing. So, a little bit of a word of warning to you guys. If you ever do make your way down into there, uh, beware. And if you're a solo player, I'm just kind of learning this. And the more that we play, Frostborn might not be for you if, it's, if, if you're a solo player. Like, if you do not have a friend to play with, as you guys are seeing through some of our gameplay here in our solo episodes... This gameplay is not catered to you. You will be abused by co-op players and Kafir needs to do something to balance this because like if you're doing something as a co-op player, I feel like you should be only put into places with other co-op players. You know what I mean? Like it's genuinely just not fair to expect a solo player to be able to go up against two people at once. You're inherently at a disadvantage and as cool of a game as Frostborn is, that is its biggest issue that I do think Kofir needs to address because as much as, and as awesome as co-op is, you know, so your buddies might not always be online at the same time. Sometimes you might just want to hop in and do some solo gameplay, but Frostborn inherently does not allow that. Frostborn's a lot more brutal. You're constantly under the threat of being raided by your neighbors. And as you guys have seen out in the wilderness you're I, like we've come across like only co-op people like today i don't think any of the people we ran into were solo and those co-op people they can cast spells twice as fast they can do everything twice as fast keep you stunned twice as fast and you're not gonna beat two people in a melee battle if everyone has similar loot just as you guys saw with me especially since i think they were higher level too because they had access to spells that stun i do not have access to such things they had they were like level 24 plus. Kafir, another thing you gotta fix, you gotta do something with the levels here. It's a bit ridiculous too to be able to expect like a level 15 to be able to go up against level 25s. So definitely some problems Frostborn has to address, but uh, I still love the game a lot and hopefully we might need to stop doing solo episodes because as you guys are seeing, they're just becoming less and less viable. There's no solo areas to check out. Everything is a player chance, or like it has a chance of encountering a player. And uh, that means there's a chance of encountering multiple, multiple people, which means there's a chance of no bueno for you. But uh, with that said, with that done, that's going to go ahead and wrap it up. Homie for now. Thank you guys a whole thing for watching. Hi, this was an awesome one. And I'll talk to you next one. See ya.